We're going to ignition. Sure. Let's do it. Yeah. I really, I really like how that video came out. I do too. Yeah, and I, I like the whole kind of like the feel, the approach, the motion, the fluidity to it. Yeah, I'm proud of that one. It was a good jam. It was. But what's the story? Wait, wait, what? Is it like? And and this is when that computer was like over there. So it's like this computer is playing video of itself. Right? <laughs> Technically, that's correct. <laughs> Like, it would be crazy if it had this web page and was playing the same thing on there. A friend of mine, Jeff Taylor, they had a reunion show yesterday. And I couldn't make it. Just because it too worked. But he had a, like a promo like that. Where it was like him and then a TV screen and it was him. Like in the TV screen doing the same thing that he was doing and then him and the TV screen. So it was just like forever. Ah, uh, sick. What's, what's the story around those guitars? And That's my roommate play. Steve's. This I bought at Division Street Music, and it was made in the 70s, and it's a Hofner, and it's from Germany. And it sounds really nice, but it's also a piece of shit. I really like it, but then it kind of goes out of tune, and it's hard to play. Of course, it sounds okay right now, despite me. But I can't let go of it because of its character. How many Even guitars do you have? Bad. Um, two. Two? This one of my electric. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. My electric I've had for like 10 years. What do you need that one? 11 years. Guitar Center in East Brunswick? Yeah, when I was 16. That same one? Man. Never let me down. Never let me down. Great strings, like going out of style, but it's me too. You got like a lot of amps and stuff. Like, a lot of no, amps. no, I was I was using the same amp that I got when I was 16 for a long time, and then uh, just stopped working. So I went to Guitar Center and I, I got one that's like I, I wouldn't even say it's better. It's just different, but you know it works. Actually, and I also have a mini amp, a little mini box amp that's like, you've seen, you know, about that mini amp. Yeah. It's amazing. It does everything. It goes everywhere, plugs into big speakers, little speakers. Mm. It is a speaker. So, two amps. And you use that guitar at your first show you ever played at? No, no. The first show I ever played at, um, I was using an acoustic guitar that my friend's older sister gave to me. And I used that guitar... For a good like three, four years, that was like my only guitar. I had I had the Stratocaster, I must have, but I had that guitar, that other guitar first. I must have gotten that when I was like 15, nah, 16, 16 or 17. I was playing my dad's guitars, you know, for most of my formative years. Oh, and it, I have another guitar, my first acoustic guitar my dad got for me. That's probably the best guitar that I own still. Best acoustic. It plays amazing. You still use picks and stuff when you play? Or? Yeah, yeah. I, I've been getting better with my fingers, but picks were my first way of playing. Gotcha. What's the, what's the, so, what your type of music, though, I think I asked you this before, but like, what kind of style of music do you play? <laughs> um, I don't know, my, my friend I was hanging out with, he's, he's doing some album artwork for me. Uh, and he was kind of like, you know, it's really cool like how many genres you can play in. And I, I accepted the compliment, but I don't think of genres, and it's really hard with my music. Like, I, I can think of in very vague genres, like, 
jazz and classical and rock and pop and so on, reggae. But like, when there's something that's fusing jazz, rock, reggae, and pop, then is it just lumped into alternative, experimental, indie? Like, I really don't know and I don't care. I just kind of play what moves me. And sometimes it's got a more funky sound to it. Sometimes, like, that's what it is. Is like, I feel like not even one culture, one area is should be confined to one kind of music, like one style. There's way so many different kinds of reggae. And like, is it necessarily from one location, or is any type of beat with this element reggae? Like, I don't know, it just, that's how that musician felt, or that composer felt that music should come together. So, it became a feeling, and if that feeling is contagious, then other people are going to create more music with that feeling. So, I just kind of would rather play what I feel. And if other, it helps other people to say, this sounds bluesy, because that's how their mind works, then that's great. But to me, I really couldn't care less. Alright. Now, what type of musicians, like, fueled you, or, like, kind of inspired your type of music now? Um, the ones who really didn't give a fuck. Um, the ones who really were just a hundred percent genuine to themselves and their art. Mm. You have anyone in specific that comes to mind? John Frusciante. Forever. And Jimi Hendrix. I mean, like, I feel like there's this sort of legacy that's just been handed down through musicians. Kind of like reincarnation in a sense. That that feeling that Jimi Hendrix really brought through his guitar is the same feeling that many people before him and after him. But, like, we all know about Jimi Hendrix now and we think he's the greatest guitar player ever because of branding, marketing, and money. Right? There will always be people who play with that organicness. Yo! Yo! Dude, I just washed my hands in one of these. How's it going, dude?